Hi, George here. Have you ever had a photo ruined by a fence? Maybe a picture of a dog like this or behind a chain link fence, possibly a picture at a zoo where the animals are behind bars. We want to have a nice clean image on that. We can easily fix this just like that. There you go. Nice cleaned up, no fence in the way. It's fairly straightforward. And to make this all fair, so you know I'm not just putting a fence in front of a clean picture of a dog, we'll download this image from Pixabay, including fence, the whole thing. So let's go over to Pixabay right now to download this picture. And it's right here. I'll put this link in the description so you can go right to this page. And then download. And I'll be using the 1920 by 1271 image size right there. Go ahead, download that, and then open that up in Photoshop if you want to work along. Now, what I always do whenever I'm working on a project like this is I always make a backup or a duplicate of the background layer. So right click versus background, duplicate layer, choose OK, hide that layer. That's just a safety, just in case things get messed up. And before we start this project, I just want to mention a couple ways that you can help keep this channel going and help me keep videos going up here on YouTube. Easiest thing to do is just to get my complete training course. And I have a brand new one here for Photoshop Elements 2024, which I'm in right now. I also have versions for earlier versions of Photoshop Elements. Find links for those down in the description. I also have a new product out, which I call my HTG Photo Coach. And it's a program that answers all the questions that come up as you're working on video training. It's a text-based program. You type in what you're thinking about, what you want to find out about. It will then come back and give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. So you can then print those out, have them with you. It gives you all of that text-based support that you normally don't get for video training. And it works with anybody's training, not just my training. And again, you find a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get back to this project. Now on this layer, we need a way to separate out the fence from the background, which of course includes the dog. And an easy way is to make a layer mask for this and then use that to remove that fence. You can't use tools like the subject select that won't do anything in here. You can't use any of the fast selection tools because there are a lot of places where the colors just match the background and it's not going to work. So we'll have to freehand this. And for that, I'll grab the paintbrush. Now I have my set for a hard edge. Let's now make a new layer up here, a new layer. There we go. Try this 19 hard edge. It's a little small still. Let's try 25. I'll just type that in, 25. That's pretty good. It's just a little bit larger than the actual line in there. You want to have some overlap in there. Let's try a 22 and see how that is. 22 is too small. There's not enough of an overlap. You have to go a little bit beyond the image in here for this to work out. Okay, here we go. Because these lines are straight, we can use a trick to make this faster. Click at the top like that. I'm using black. Come down to the bottom. Hold the shift key down and click again. And that gives you a straight line between those two points. So let's go through and grab all of these parts of the fence in here. Top, hold the shift key and bottom. And we'll just continue on down. And catch all of these. And so we are losing a lot of that dog back in there. That is a problem. We'll have to do some fixes on that. But that's okay, we can do that, we can fix this. And for that, we'll be using the clone stamp tool primarily. But let's go ahead, we'll finish off this step. And we'll then come back and do those scrolls. Let's get this one right here again, shift key, there we go. And once you finish all the straight lines, we'll come back and do some freehand stuff. Let's go clear across the bottom, like that. And then straight across here, there we go. We can freehand this bit over here using my wheel on my mouse. If the wheel on your mouse isn't set up for zooming, just go up here to the edit menu, come down to preferences, general, and that's right here, zoom with scroll wheel. And I use the left square bracket key to bring my brush size down. Again, you want to have an overlap in there. And we'll freehand all of these things. And just catch all the parts that are showing in there. Doesn't need to be super, super accurate, but you do need to cover up what you want to get rid of completely. All right, space bar, and you can then move your image. Anything which isn't perfect, we'll fix on our cleanup stage. And we'll go clear through and do all of these sections for the whole image. There we go. A lot of these scrolls, but that's okay. The scrolls go actually pretty fast, as you can see in here. This has a little bit squirrely on that. That's fine. You'll come down around this side over here. If you have any spots that just are straight, you can go ahead and use that straightening trick. We will have some problems on these legs because of course we'll be covering up a lot of the legs in here with our section here with our selection. Okay, up and around like this. 
and let's get that over the top there. Whenever you see that hand pop up, that's just me holding down the space bar. We have the left hand side just about done. Okay, now this has some more stuff in it. These little things, I'll go ahead and just use the same size brush on this for those. There we go. This bottom one right down here. And almost finished with this process. There we go. And up around here. And up around over here. And the last little bit right there. Okay, control zero, get back to fit screen again. And we now have a mask covering that whole fence. Now that we have this step done, let's go up here to our new layer. Hold the control key down or the command key if you're on a Macintosh. Click the thumbnail and that makes a selection of that layer. Everything on that layer and everything on the layer, of course, is what we just painted. We can now hide that layer. Let's come back here to the layer below. This is our working layer. And then we'll go up here to edit, come down to fill selection and content aware fill. Now, if you don't have this because you're working on an earlier version of Photoshop Elements, you can do the same trick. It's a little bit more work. It just takes more use of the clone stamp tool. It's more difficult without the content aware fill though. Choose okay. That comes in and it magically cleans up all those areas. Now it's not perfect. There are spots that are gonna to have to get fixed in here. And we'll work on those as we go through. Use the control D keyboard shortcut to deselect. And pretty good, most of the fence is removed. It looks good left-hand side, looks good right-hand side, except for a couple of spots. The dog looks absolutely awful. We'll have to fix the dog on this one. But we can fix the dog. It's mostly just clone stepping work to fix in and patch things that got messed up and working from the original image. Let's take a look at our original right here. That's where the fence is right along here on his leg. If you bring that back up again, that's the parts that got cut in. So it's areas where the fence was overlapping that we're losing in here. We lost a bit more in here than was actually covered by the fence. But mostly it's stuff that we can come back in and then just patch up. Okay, start that off. Take a look right up in here. That's a little odd looking. This is the correct fur over here. Having that background layer helps because I can see what is staying and what isn't staying. So here we need to just move this in. I'll use that zoom control. We'll zoom in a bit. What I need here is just more fur right in this area. Now there are two ways to do this. One way is to use one of these healing brushes right here. For me, they really don't work out that well on this kind of an image. So instead, I'll be using the clone stamp tool exclusively. I have it set at a soft brush right now. It's at 15 pixels. That's a pretty good size. You can go up and down with the square bracket. Right square bracket is up, left square bracket is down. Come in here, make a selection, hold the Alt key down and click at your clone from zone. And then we just clone out and put in some of the stuff that's missing. We have our edge in there, which helps a lot. We just go up to that edge. Now right up in here, we're gonna have to kind of make this up because we don't have that section. So I'll just come in here and do a little bit of fixing like that. Up here, we're missing part of the dog's ear. I'm gonna go smaller, that's the, that's the left square bracket. And I'll grab this and let's just bring in a little bit of this up here like that. Bring this over just a touch until they're touching right here. And then we'll come in and just see if we can carefully bring in a little bit of the ear up in here, just patching it in. And don't forget, there's no actual image behind that. There's no ear to bring back again. So all we can do is just fake this. With a little bit of care, you can fake it pretty well. I'm gonna double check this spot right in here. It looks a bit confusing. Let's see what we have here. Look at this, just a big bit over here, but that white spot right in a little bit of white area there, that is actually part of the background. So I'm gonna come over here with the clone stamp and I'm going to come in and just take out this side uh, just a little bit. You know what, that's about the right shape in there for that side. I'm gonna come way down on the size of my brush and same thing, let's just come in and just really carefully catch that edge right along in there. And that's much, much better, much closer to what the original would have been. It's kind of a curve right here or kind of a fold in as first, I'll leave that out. So it's just a matter of coming in and doing some careful clone stamping. We'll take care of that nose in just a little bit. That's a bit of a problem, but we can fix it. But for now, I'll come in and we'll just do as much clone stamping as we can to clean things up as much as possible. Let's see what's happening on this right-hand side. Okay, the fur comes clear out to here and we're losing a lot of that thickness in there, as you can see. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to clone stamp from this layer and clone stamp onto that layer. I just want to replace that bit. I'll go from right here back up to this layer. And I can see that edge. 
I just want to get that edge where that fur is. And that's right along in there. So that's from the bottom picture. And that's where the edge of this dog actually is, is right along in there. Okay, now I can clone stamp from this layer and bring in some of this regular fur over here. Do you fill that in? And I know that this isn't going to be perfect in here, so let's just come in and edge this in a little bit. This is where that fence is. A little better. And then just grab some fur and borrow some fur from other places in here to help to fill this in. There we go. Just a matter of taking your time, and you can get a pretty good effect in here. That will look very, very natural. But it does take some time and effort to get this exactly right. There we go. Okay, let's get to his nose here. Bring my brush size up a little bit. And I'm just going to move in on this like this. And just bring that over. Kind of like that. And bring up some of the fur over in here. And then for this nose, I'm going to grab the nose right there and just duplicate that in here. And smooth the top out a little bit. Bring my brush size down, and I'm bringing a little bit of fur over in here, and that's looking better. Okay, the mouth is really messed up. This is going to take some careful work in here. Let's check the photo again underneath. Okay, I don't really see anything just a little bit right down here is all I have to work with. I do have this edge here of the nose. We'll go ahead, we'll grab that piece. I'll come down here to this layer and grab right here. Just click on that Alt key and click. Now memorize where your mouse is. I want to move up here to the other layer. Come right back to that same spot, which is right here, and then clone it in that same spot. That gets us that edge on the nose right in there. Okay, let's find the bottom of that mouth. It's right down here. Again, Alt and click, and that bit is right there. Okay, now I can patch in the rest of that fairly easily. I'm staying on that one top layer now. And just bring in some of that fur and match those edges. There we go. Looks about right. I think that nose works. Again, it takes a little bit of work to get this exactly right, but with some time and effort, you can make a really good job. Okay, the face looks good. That's the most important part of the dog. Let's now come in and clean up some other spots. There's a little bit of white fur right in here. I'm just going to steal some from down below here where I can get that edge in it like that. I'll just do just a little bit here. If it gets too recognizable as the same spot, what you have to do is to go back and kind of mess it up a little bit. For instance, if I take this line right here and I put it over here, that's pretty obvious that I've just copied that. So grab a plain spot and then come in and take out the parts that are obviously duplicated. Let's bring just a little bit of random fur in here. We'll come back and fix those duplications in just a second. I'll get that right now. Just moving around, grabbing different spots. There we go. Now you can see where it's kind of faded out or soft focused in there. That's the part that you need to fix. That's where the fence was covering up. So let's go to a larger brush and we'll continue on down in here. Let's bring it back in some of that texture that we had. That'll make this all work out perfectly. There we go. As you can see, there's a lot of this, a lot of clone stamp careful repairing work. And in the space bar right there to move the image. Here's where those kind of scrolly things were. And I'm just working back and forth and just trying to catch some texture into those areas where we've lost texture because of the fence. And just matching the colorations of the area to make it blend in nicely. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to do the same trick that we did up on the face. And that's just to work our way in a little bit, maybe even coming in and putting in some stuff from a different area. Now this leg comes right down here, so I'm gonna grab it right here and see if I can extend that leg down. Just keep on going back to my original spot. And I'll see if I can bring this leg down to match the other leg right down here. If I can get it where it touches, like that, then I have an edge for that leg. Now I can fill that in. There we go. There's a foot we don't want right here. So I'll grab this now. If it gets a little bit soft focus like that, just come in and make your brush size a lot smaller, which also makes the softness a lot smaller. We can then come in and just kind of clean that stuff out. 
Okay, that's looking pretty good. Most of the dog is okay. Let's come over here. Now, depending upon where the dog's nose was, where the eyes were, things like that, this can be easier or more difficult. If the eyes happen to be behind part of the fence, it becomes very difficult to make this kind of a fix. So a lot of that depends upon the quality of the original image, whether or not you'll be able to do a clean fix or not. You really need to have those eyes clean and if possible, that nose clean as well. That really does make it much, much easier. In our case, we lost half the nose. So we had to reconstruct that nose, which takes a bit more time and a bit more skill. This leg looks okay, except for this bit over here. I think I can take this out by just bringing in some background and finding that edge along there. That's pretty close. Over here, a bit more difficult. We'll do the same trick. I'll come down and use the leg up here and try to fill in where that leg should be. And we'll then fix things along there. Now, if you have just a little short length, you can work from short spots like this and work your way on down. What you want to do is have it a little bit random on the edge. That makes it look more realistic. And there's work down until you can connect that with an existing part of the dog's leg. And then it will all make sense. Okay, just about there. That's looking pretty good. Okay, let's come in here and get this section in here. There we go. And we'll work this in. There we are. And we'll bring it down along this side here. And I think that leg is just about done. I have to come in and clean up the background. It just won't get a haze or a, a highlight or halo showing in there. And okay, that leg looks pretty good. So we fixed the legs. Let's take a look at this back side. It's a little odd back in here. Let's check the original. Okay, can't tell what's going on back in there. So same thing, I'm gonna be using this small brush and just using this to come in and clean up that edge, which should be around in here someplace. And then a little larger, a couple of taps there on the right square bracket key, alt key, and let's just get this bit cleaned out. Okay, that's looking good. And right down over here, has some stuff in here that shouldn't be here. We'll just clean this out quickly. There we go, we're just about done actually. And that's looking pretty good. A few things here, right hand side, we can fix this quickly and easily. We'll just clone stamp that out. And same thing here, clone stamp this out and get that fixed right there. Now it's wrong, wrong side. That's better. That side in here is the coloration I wanted in there. There we go. And let's get that little bit of the fence or the wall fixed up here. And then a few more things, a few more little touch-ups, and then I think we'll be good on this one. And just catching the edges of things in here. Whenever you have a straight line, try to work along a straight line, and that will give you the best repair possible. And again, whenever you find those lines, follow those lines along, and that will give you the best cleanup possible. There we go. And a little bit right in here. That's taken care of. Just a few last little bits in here, and I think that is just fine. Okay, there we go. As I said, fairly straightforward. Take a little bit of work in here to clean up some of these edges because they were simply non-existent. But I think we've pulled that off and it looks like the actual dog photo and we have removed that background. Let's check that out. There it is with the fence and there it is without the fence. Maybe a little bit of work up in here. Just kind of make them a bit thinner right up in here. There we go. I think that's a little nicer look. There we are. It takes a bit of work to do this. The real trick on this is saving yourself a lot of time by making this mask first, putting content aware fill on that, and that saves you a lot of trouble. Just leaving a few things to fix instead of having to fix the whole thing with the clone stamp tool. Check out my training course for Photoshop Elements 2024 and the new HTG Photo Coach for Photoshop Elements, answering all those questions that come up while you're watching video training. Now, if you like this video, if you had fun with this, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I do new videos all the time, and I'll see you next time.